ready talking boxing. This is Mr. A here, finishing up this uh, O'Connor and Acuna fight. <clears throat> Let's see. Please subscribe. Thank you for supporting. Share a thumbs up. Leave your comments below on what did you think of this fight. Like I said, I just now finished it. Um, I scored the fight. Let me. Get, I had it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I had it 96, 95, and a new champion. But I also had a uh, two tight rounds. So I had two tight rounds, and I had a round that I gave to Akano, but I could easily see people giving it to Akuna. So, 96, 95, uh, Kanu, or maybe 96, I don't know, you get a three-point swing, I, I don't want to do the math right now, you can, it can easily be a three-point swing for Akuna, Akuna, so it's not, it's, it's not, it's not a bad judgment, uh, I don't know what the final score on this was, see, they had it 96, 94 for Akuna, now, let's see, uh, the way I had it down, I had uh, rounds one, three, six, uh, uh, yeah, one, three, six, nine, and eight, and ten for O'Connell. Now my tie rounds, I had a uh, round three. And I had round uh, five a tie. No, round six a tie. I had round three and six a tie. And my one toss up round could have been a uh, round, round a nine. But now, I think, I did not expect uh, O'Connell to sh come off with this much movement in the beginning of this fight. If you watch my review, I thought she was gonna, I thought the only way she can win is with pressure and don't give Akuna time to counter her. So, very surprised that she went with the movement in the beginning. It worked for her. She was able to keep the power of Akuna uh, basically notified because Akuna could not get her until like round four. Around once round four kicked in, Akuna was able just to. Uh, I think in the round three, Akuna hit her with some good body shots. At the very end of it, she gave her like a good one-two to the body. Oh, wow, she's happy. <laughs> she's jumping with joy. She just won. She just found out she won. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's happy. Um, yeah, at the end of round three, she hit her with some good body shots. And I think she felt that all in for the rest of the fight. Because in round four, Akuna's movement stopped. Um, and, and from there, Akuna was just able to apply pressure. In, in the video, my, my breakdown video, I I, I noted and quoted that uh, Akuno is, the, to me, the better boxer. The only way Akuno had a chance was just pressure and a body attack. She didn't do no body attack, which is why, I mean, I think why, is because um, Akuno, Akuna hits harder than what she expected. She could not stand in front of her, and her, her counter ability was sharp. And then uh, up until, so after round four, all up until round nine. Um, that's the round I gave O'Connell, but it could have been either way. Round nine, O'Connell started the fight that round. Like I thought she was going to start the fight. She put a lot of pressure on her and it forced Akuna to do the movement, which I was talking about. But uh, overall, this was a really good fight. Uh, could have easily been a tie. Could have easily, but like I said, I had three round, two rounds of tie, and one could have been a toss up. So it could have easily went to Akuna. She did. She did enough to win this fight, not be a tie. Um, just the way I judged it. Leave a comment below. What do you think? Who Who do you think won this fight? Why? How do you think it? Uh, leave your scorecards in below. Like I said, I have mine. Uh, rounds one, three, five, seven, and eight, and ten for Okano. And my toss up, my tie, my tie rounds was three, six, and my toss up round was uh, number nine. So, that's how I spoke it down. This is Double RT Boxing, Mr. A. Uh, thank you for supporting. Thumbs up these videos. Share these videos. Argentina, thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for your support. And uh, you guys got a champ. She's a fighter.